What's going on guys? It's Danny here and this is gonna be a high skill level ranked game commentary. Um, this is from the first page. It's this game right here. It's the last game from the first page. Um, we have one pick left but um, so far on the dire team we have Bounty Hunter, Ogre Magi, Death Prophet and Terror Blade. You know Death Prophet and Terror Blade are very good heroes for pushing and Lion. Lion is the last pick there. So Death Prophet and Terror Blade. Those are very good heroes for pushing with the uh, Terror Blade Illusions and Death Prophet's Exorcism. Um, on the Radiant team we have Wind Ranger, Doom, gonna be going on the safe lane I guess. Um, Phoenix, off lane, Mirana. I guess he bought wards, so he's gonna be kind of a support, roamer, stuff like that. And we have Nature's Prophet, he's gonna be jungling. Um, we have level 1 movement here from the Dire team. Is this gonna be some kind of uh, aggressive tri lane? I don't think letting the Terror Blade solo versus Phoenix Thank is you. the best idea ever but we'll see maybe they are just going together to ward and then they will you know the lion and ogre magi will go top to support we'll see that we see this ward this ward is getting nice vision to the rune and this is this is actually in 6.82 this is the first ooh, arrow hits one second stun, that's nothing. Mirana, gonna be able to do a few auto attacks. And Nature's Prophet blocking with the Treants, that's not enough. There is Ogre Magi and Bounty Hunter here. So, Lion warded here. He definitely wants to block this camp. So, Nature's Prophet cannot farm it, obviously. Um, so, this is the first game that I am making a commentary on 6.82 it's gonna be pretty interesting I was reading on on uh, one po one form and yes indeed it blocks it blocks the big camp and this one blocks this big camp and uh, nature's prophet is going into the dire jungle but I don't know if they are gonna let them do stuff there because there is a lion there this is weird you know, you can farm the medium camp and then you can go to the small and the second medium camp there. So it's gonna be Ogre Magi. Um, Ogre Magi offlane. And this hero is viable on the offlane now. It's very, very nice on the offlane because what they did on 6.82 is they increased the base HP regeneration. On level 2 right now, without the tango, he has like 3.5 HP region per second and that's without having any item for HP region this is the base okay and it's really really nice because heroes that have this okay 3.4 um, heroes that have this region is they are really nice for the offlane like Nyx Assassin has also a very high base region and Axe has a very high base region compared to other heroes of course and uh, someone wants to pause the game game is dead dead game indeed bounty hunter is gonna be roaming looks like and doom scorched earth is on cooldown so this is a opportunity to deal a little bit of harassment I don't know if they can kill him. Another stun on the Ogre Magi in two seconds. They actually... Yep, this is the first blood right here. Doom used the healing salve, but it was not enough to survive. And Mirana with level one arrows. So far, not doing much. Nature's Prophet is level three. And I thought this guy is gonna get fucked. They blocked his jungle, so what he did is go into the enemy's jungle. So smart. 
So, I was talking about Ogre Magi, the base, <laughs> when they increase the base movement speed, now the hero is good off laner. And by the way, we have Wind Ranger killing Death Prophet on the mid lane. And it's probably Mirana hitting a ra an arrow, it was finally, finally an arrow by Mirana. There we go, right into the face, and then one auto attack, there we go, power shot, one auto attack. And I was talking about the Ogre Magi. Now it, in 6.82 what they did on Doom is they changed the ultimate. Now the ultimate Doom doesn't cancel passives, okay? Because when you play Doom and you have a Phantom Assassin against you, if you Doom her, um, her blur, the third skill, is not gonna work. Uh, you are not gonna miss any auto attack, but now Doom does not cancel passives, okay? So um, Doom is not that good anymore against Phantom Assassin um, and other heroes that have very good passives that you remove them before, like Faceless Void. When you Doom him, um, you remove the 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 backtracks, so he cannot backtrack you when he's doomed. Um, you remove the bashes, no bashes when he's doomed. Now the passives work, even if they are doomed. But Doom is a uh, 15 seconds duration silence. There is also damage over time. So it is still very effective against some heroes. Uh, for example, Terrorblade. If you Doom him when he's like half HP, now he's going aggressive on the Phoenix. He knows Phoenix already used the dive. There is... There we go, that auto attack was enough. The tower. One more auto attack, 4 HP on the Terror Blade. Nature's Prophet tipping in. Is he gonna TP out the Sprout? He sprouted to get vision, but couldn't get the auto attack in time. And the uh, Terror Blade managed to TP out. That was really well played by Lion. Go and stun the Nature's Prophet and Hex as well. He used both of them. And Terror Blade just buy a TP and TP out to base. It was very nice kill on the on the Phoenix. So yep, yep. On the Bounty Hunter, what change the um, Doom is getting? The game is lagging right now. Oh come on, man! Like on Sundays, I already did that video like two weeks ago. On Sundays. I have like an hour to sit down and try to record just one commentary video on a high skilled game. And the only game that I can commentate, people are lagging. 55% packet loss. Come on man, that's not fair, come on. Okay, Lion gets killed by Mirana there. The arrow is available, it's gonna hit on Terror Blade, a few more auto attacks and that's a dead Terror Blade. There we go. Um, wait, wait, wait. Last hits. 26 last hits. Number one on the list is the offlane Ogre Magi. Okay. This shows how much action is going on the other lanes. Because the offlaner have been number one on the list. Or this also shows that this offlane is going very well for him. There is a roaming bounty hunter. Level 5 at 6 minutes, this is very, very good. So far, so good for the bounty. Uh, Roaming getting a lot of experience. He has 2 assists out of 3 kills in his team. They keep lagging. I hope they are not lagging anymore. Oh, that's a multicast on the Ignite. Doom. It's gonna Doom the Bounty Hunter and Bounty... Jeez, that crit. That crit, Bounty Hunter, just got slightly wrecked. And Nature's Prophet tipping in. Mirana. Nice arrow on the Ogre Magi and he's... Is he gonna die? He's gonna die. Okay, there we go. If he got one bottle charge, he would have survived because then you can go juke in the trees. And Mirana already used the leap to go closer to him.
Oh, the Nature's Prophet ultimate. He has Sunder though, and you are gonna die instead. But maybe they can kill him now. After Nature's Prophet took the death for him. Now do now the lion is gonna die instead. Okay, better lion than Terror Blade. You know what I mean? Better lion than Terror Blade because Terror Blade is the carry, shouldn't be dying, and lion is the support. He can take the deaths for his for his carry. Oh, that's another very nice arrow on the Death Prophet. Nature's Prophet tipping in. And so far so good for the Mirana, I have to say. Okay, he's maxing the arrows, hitting them all, standing right here, uh, shooting the arrow from behind that, na that uh, Death Prophet does not expect, you know. Because if you stay here with Mirana and you shoot the arrow, Death Prophet is gonna see it coming. It's very easy to dodge. But if you stayed behind him, Nature's n Death Prophet is here. And he has the camera like this, right now, and he's last hitting creeps, he's looking at the creeps, and then arrow coming from behind, you have no idea. Unless you have a ward here and you can see him, but this is a very defensive ward for the Dire team, and it's very early for this kind of wards. That's an amazing shackle, Death Prophet and Lion, Nature's Prophet tipping in with the Sprout. Finish? Finish? Come on, man! Come on, man! How do you finish now? It's like 9 minutes into the game. You don't just finish the game like this. Now, Terror Blade. Oh, he got hit by the Nature's Prophet Ultimate. The Sunder is 3 seconds cooldown. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? He dodged all the... All the fire spirits, that was awesome. Now Nature's Prophet? Top tower is I heard the Nature's Prophet TP, but he doesn't... He cancelled it. That multicast on the creep though. <laughs> yeah... He's saying finish. 0-3. He says finish. Invisibility. Oh damn, that was so close. If that if that arrow hits, then Nature's Prophet would have the time to sprout him. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, that dust on Mirana though, but it's. Jeez. He's gonna die. I'm pretty much sure he's gonna die. I'm pretty sure, I mean. Nature's Prophet here. That damage on the Bounty Hunter when he killed Mirana. It might be Mirana being very squishy, but also... He didn't expect the Bounty to kill him that fast. That's another amazing headshot. I mean, not headshot. Shackle shot followed by a one second arrow, but the uh, exorcism expires The ghosts go back to your hero and you get healed because that's how it works. There is a killing spree on the terror blade um, I am interested to see because this is a 1v1, okay This is a 1v1 kill It's not like a gank or something though. So someone one of them outplayed the other one. They outplayed each other. There is a phoenix. Okay. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Terror blade once again dodging the the fire spirits. He has thunder available, and phoenix Dyer's ultimate. Is under and terror blade is just gonna auto attack and kill it. 41 HP. Oh man. Just. Just like that, right? Just like. Just like nothing is happening. Just manning up on the egg and killing the egg. 
I think I would have run if if I was Terrorblade. <laughs> it's okay though. I'm just kidding. I would have meant up as well. Actually, I don't know. Forget about it. It's not important. I am not playing right now. It's this guy playing now. Um, if I was him, I would thunder the bounty hunter and say, Fuck you, bounty. Go back to heal again. I have to keep farming and you are gonna be roaming the whole game. Oh, that doom though. The arrow didn't hit. Shackle shot didn't connect, but it's completely enough with just auto attacks and bounty hunter being doomed. That revenge. The sweet revenge on the doom. Because bounty was on the bottom lane a lot, killing the doom together with ogre magic. That was definitely some revenge by oh another thing it's not only the base region that Dyer's makes ogre magic good for the offlane it's also that it's also that ogre magic is a very a very tanky hero he has a very good strength okay so that means he has a lot of HPs. And on level 1, I think he starts with 6 armor. Not every hero starts with 6 armor at level 1, right? So this is another two reasons why Ogre Magic is good on the offlane now, you know? High armor, high HP because of his strength, and then the, the bonus HP... The bonus base HP region that they buffed on 6.82, it's making the hero pretty good for the offlane. Oh, that's a nice U Scepter. Um, report? Report them. Oh, multicast. Three times multicast. Midas on Doom. Even if it's a 14 my, Even if it's a 14 minutes Midas. Okay. It's still gonna pay off if the game goes long enough. Because many people are like... Uh... 14 minutes into the game, it's very late for Midas, and some people are like, if you don't buy it for the first 6 or 7 minutes, it's not even worth it. It's worth it, okay? If the game goes long enough, your Midas is gonna pay off. Um, double damage? Oh, Nature's Prophet, you are not dead. You Scepter? Nice. Nature's Prophet couldn't TP out in time. He's gonna die, even though Mirana ultimate was used here. Now Phoenix ultimate is on cooldown. Jesus Christ, man. Poor lion. Poor guy. He got doomed and then focused by so much stuff. Mirana, though. Maxing arrows and maxing the leap. No star storm. Well, usually I don't know if I would agree with this build. I probably Oh that was close. Do manage to kill Bounty Hunter before the arrow, but otherwise Oh Phoenix. They have their attack speed slowed because of the fire spirits. They killed the egg, but Terror Blade died after that, he had a dominating streak, it's now over. And Nature's Prophet dies from the Ignite damage over time. Mirana with the Urn of Shadows. Using it on himself to get some heal. Now he has Arrow in 2 seconds. Death Prophet is tipping out, so never mind. Can't kill him. Tip it back to base. And he's making an Eel Scepter. Wait. Hmm. 
I always thought the Quilling Blade is not worth it on ranged heroes because on melee heroes you get 32% bonus damage to creeps but on the ranged heroes you get 12 and 12% is not that much maybe he wants like some heroes like Pudge it's not horrible to have a Quilling Blade even though you don't need it but it's not horrible because you are gonna cut the trees and you can make more you can you can get better positioning for your hooks or maybe even Mirana to get better position for for the arrows but uh, on, on Death Prophet a Quilling Blade I don't know about that anyway it's okay though now Doom has Blink oh the game is definitely lagging I understand I completely understand the nature's prophet sprouted himself here when when ogre magi was killing him he sprouted himself and then it felt like um, it felt like a two seconds reaction time for the TP he didn't TP out immediately that's because right now they have packet loss I guess Oh, Phoenix the ultimate is it no it's not gonna die now it happened the same with doom on the mid lane he blinked and then he tried to stun but he couldn't get it in time and wow he managed to TP out what a player terror blade Can you guys see this game? The first guy on the last hits list is Terrorblade with 82 last hits. 82 at 19 minutes. When usually at this point the the carry or the core heroes, the farmers, they have like like 100, 150 heroes that farm fast like Death Prophet nuking the creep waves with um, Creep Swarm, Nature's Prophet with his ultimate and just tipping out um, teleporting around the map and getting last hits everywhere Terror Blade very good for farming the jungle and at the same time farming a lane and pushing a lane with an illusion now this shows less than 100 last hits on at 20 minutes into the game uh, this shows how active this game is and this is this is what is happening in this patch okay it's not only the heroes it's this is what's happening in this patch 6.82 there is a lot of action and a lot of fights everywhere on the map all the time it's not like before when people farm and push and split push all the time because now it's not even worth it to split push anymore because you don't get that much gold from the towers with Nature's Prophet, it's much better to just teleport into fights and try to do stuff in fights instead of split pushing, you know? This shows how active this game and this patch in general is. No, Not that much farm, just kills. And if you wanna farm gold, you have to go for last hits because split pushing and getting towers as 5, it's not that worth it anymore because, you know, you don't get that much gold. The gold from towers is was reduced by a lot in 6.82. So this is this is another reason why Bounty Hunter is a good hero. Because you get track gold from your ultimate. Now Doom Dooming the Bounty Hunter. He's gonna have to deny him. There we go. That's a nice arrow by Mirana. If that arrow managed to get bounty, he would have died, but he got denied by Death Prophet, that was well played. Now Ogre Magi on the chase. Bloodlust on himself for more movement speed. U Scepter. They have another U Scepter. Oh, good thing that wasn't a Moticast because he had the Blade Mail activated. And Ogre Magi would damage himself a lot. Now Mirana goes down. Nature's Prophet managed to TP out. Phoenix ultimate is on cooldown. What are you gonna do without your ultimate? You just kill them with your fire spirits. 
This lion. Two for one. This lion. Let's blame the lion, guys. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Going to fight without casts and maxed hex. Radiance top tower is under attack. Why would you ever max the hex, Dyer's you know? Middle tower is under attack. I don't know. I don't know. This death prophet, fallen. death prophet is drunk. This is the only explanation. Totally drunk. That shackle, though, he needs one or two more auto attacks, and he got Dagon on the bounty hunter. That's very good for nuking down heroes. The Shuriken toss is gonna be jumping. Um, in 900 range between the heroes that are tracked. This is the 6.82 change for Bounty Hunter. So if the Shuriken Toss jumps on a hero that's low on HP. And Dagon has pretty pretty big. It's like 600 range, cast range. 600 cast range on level 1. Uh, that's not bad. On level 4... On level 5, it's 800. <laughs> but on level 1, it's not bad. It's 600. It's not bad. Oh! Yep. He dies. Death Prophet. Nice luck. Dyer's bottom tower. Dyer. I'm not sure I'm not sure what exactly was luck there. Maybe that he didn't get shackled. But anyway. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Oh, okay. I have never seen this because this is something new, right? Allies disappear. Oh, he blinked out. That was a nice blink out because Thunder is ready. Now he's gonna Sunder the Wind Ranger instead. And Nature's Prophet is gonna Blade Mail and didn't help that much. Whoa! Three times multicast? <laughs> now it's it's a lot easier for Ogre Magic to get multicasts, right? This is something in 6.82. It's they increase the chances of the multicast. Twenty-five percent to get a uh, three times multicast on level three multicast. I mean, when you skill the when you skill it on level sixteen. And you have 12.5% chance to get 4 times multicast. Let me see the gold graphs. Oh, this is the 6.82. 6.82. You know? They start having like a... This is, this is around 5k gold advantage for the Radiant team. And now it's going for the way of Dire. The advantage. It's not for the Radiant anymore. Because in 6.82 they made the comebacks a lot easier, okay? And Doom? Doom is gonna die there, of course. They have three heroes hitting him. So in 6.82 they changed the gold, okay? They, changed, they, they made the comebacks easier and possible.
when they were impossible before. Okay, that's a nice arrow by Mirana. Lion going very aggressive with his blink. There comes the Death Prophet. Shackle shot, not shackling anything. But Mirana ultimate still going here. Got a few more seconds of invisibility. Death Prophet destroys the tower. This is the tier 1 tower at 27 minutes in. Oh, he dodged the shuriken toss. He has Dagon? No, he used it already. That's right, he used it. Now Mirana. They have vision on him because of the... Because of the truck. And there goes the terror blade. Even if 6.82 is about fighting more than pushing towers and split pushing and stuff like that. At the end of the day, you're gonna need someone to push the towers fast. And there is no better hero than Terrorblade to do that. Manta style, metamorphosis with the second skill to get illusions and more and more illusions and they are very strong. And he's 736 with almost 200 last hits. Now, this is what I'm talking about. 200 last hits at 28 minutes. Now, this is reminding me of the Dota before 6.82. And this is reminding me of the Terror Blade because look at this. He's farming this camp with one illusion, farming this camp with the hero, and he has another illusion going around and scouting for him. The illusion is... Perfect. If you let the illusion 1v1 the Mirana, he's gonna kill him. Um, if Terror Blade keeps playing smart... He has a uh, Eye of Skadi now. In 29 minutes, Manta Skadi drums power treads. That's some good farm. And if he keeps playing good like this... I think Dire Team got this game because Radiant, well, for the late game, Nature's Prophet with a lot of farm is good for the late game. Doom, he has a Scepter. So, Scepter is what you need, right? Scepter is what you need to cancel passives. But what passive do you want to cancel in this game? Because I think instead of a scepter he could have gone for some other very useful items. Because what passive do you want to cancel? If you doom the ogre magi, it doesn't matter that the multicast works. Because he cannot cast, he's doomed. If you doom the lion, he can't cast anything. If you doom the bounty hunter, well, disable the Jinada, I guess, but that's not that's not very important. If you doom bounty, he's just gonna run. But if you doom a phantom assassin or void, they will turn around and fight you. Ow! Not stealthy enough, Mariah. Ow! That was really painful. That's a level 5 Dagon. Jeez. And meanwhile on the top lane, the Terror Blade. And I thought, okay, when we were watching this game, that was like 5k gold advantage for Radiant. When I was watching this game at... 15 minutes, this is when the advantage happened, at 20 minutes. I thought Radiant team got this, but they actually don't because the Dire from all the kills started getting so much gold because of how gold and comeback mechanics work in 6.82. Now killing the Terror Blade, the three people killing Terror Blade here, they just got a lot of gold. Because this is how it works, the 6.82. The team that has 
gold advantage, that's a 12k gold advantage. That's a lot. That's a big gold advantage, right? And now, when the Radiant team um, kill the Terror Blade, because Terror Blade is the hero with probably the highest net worth, he has the highest amount of last hits, he's been pushing towers, and yes indeed, he has the highest net, net worth, uh, the second one is Ogre Magi, so if the Radiant team go together and gang the Terror Blade and they kill the Terror Blade, they are gonna get so much gold from that. Okay. Look here. Nature's Prophet just pawned Terror Blade's head for 371 gold. And Terror Blade didn't have any streak. So 371 gold was what you used to get before for ending a killing spree or maybe even a dominating or a dominating is more than 400 gold. But this is what you used to get when you ended a killing spree before and now this is a normal kill, it's not a killing spree. And this is because, this is because the dire team, the whole dire team and especially the terror blade has so much gold. The dire team have so so much gold. And especially the terror blade, the highest net worth of the game. Okay? So I hope you understand if you were wondering about the 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 gold changes, the comeback changes. And now killing the Death Prophet, they also got a lot of gold. They got 380 gold from killing the Death Prophet. bottom tower has fallen and this is not the only Radiant's thing okay because this is the gold nice. the game says the game says he got this amount of gold but actually there is more gold that we don't see because it's or at least I didn't notice I didn't watch closely enough maybe that's a nice arrow that will be a kill on the terror blade Wind Ranger focusing with the focus fire, the Maelstrom, and now Ultimate Orb, he has 4k gold, should be able to get to finish the Hex, the Sight of Vice. And this is when the game actually could turn around for the Radiant team now. Even though they are getting pressured, you know, the game could still turn. It's still possible a comeback. I mean, a comeback is still possible. Um, so, the game tells you how much gold you get here from getting the kill, but also, you get the number of the gold that you get is, um, you know, like, it's next to your hero. It doesn't say it here, it's next to your hero. And this is the important part. Oh, Mirana. Oh. So what happened? Doom, Scepter, Dagger, Minutes, 35, safe lane. Well, he has a Midas. He has a Midas. And if you only knew how hard it was the safe lane for Doom, you would, you would know why does he have so low items at 35 minutes? And this is not even low items, you know? It's not that far. It could be much worse, considering how bad was the safe lane for him. Terrorblade, I mean, uh, Phoenix, stunning everyone with his ultimate. Death Prophet is gonna go down. Dots, more dots, more dots. The Phoenix has so much dots, so many dots, I mean. Ogre Magi with the Aegis of the Immortal. Now, Terror Blade focusing Nature's Prophet, you get, when you use the reflection from the illusion, you get vision. Even if Death Prophet spawns, uh, I mean, sprouts himself. Now, they are getting zoned out, that's a three times multicast. And Wind Ranger, oh, that was very close. Nice body block by Terror Blade, trying to, you know, body block him when he's using the, the, the Wind Run, but... It wasn't enough, and now Sunder was ready, but he couldn't Sunder him. Now, te 
Shaco not gonna connect. Ogre Magi versus Wind Ranger. That's a four times multicast. Get wrecked. That's a four times multicast. Every hit multicast, okay. That's right. Because on level three multicast you have two time um you have 60% to get a 2 times Radiance middle barracks are under attack. You have 60% chance to get a 2 times multicast. And you should be getting a multicast almost every time you cast it because 60% to get a 2 times multicast, 25% to get 3 times report doom. These people are fucking drunk. Like, in the beginning of the game, it was Death Prophet who said, Finish, please. Okay? Now, Wind Ranger is the one flaming the Doom. Oh, wow. People don't believe. You have to believe. You have to believe, guys. You have to believe in the comeback, okay? Because 6.82 is the patch of many comebacks and many team fights. That ethereal blade. Radiance middle barracks are under attack. They have a gem on the bounty hunter. Do they have buybacks on? There is no buyback on Phoenix. No buyback on Mirana, and Mirana got five, four clo five clocks. Five cloaks. He really wants some magical resistance against bounty hunters, Dagon and stuff. But um, I guess I guess game is over now. Game is over now. So that was a pretty interesting game. At 40 minutes, we have 42 kills for the Radiant team and 51 for the Dire team. This is like 93 kills. 93 kills in 40 minutes. This is a pretty interesting game. This was a pretty interesting game for me to watch and commentate. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, this commentary and this game. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. It helps out a lot. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Good luck and have fun playing Dota.